pink bag with flowers on it and this is what it looks like and hey guys it's jessica welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys what's in my hospital bag i am currently 39 weeks pregnant and my due date is this coming tuesday so in about two days and i just wanted to share with you guys what i'm taking to the hospital this is my first time having a baby so if i am missing anything just comment down below and why don't we go ahead and get started so first things first this is the hospital bag that i am taking with me it's just a really cute bag it's uh, like a blush pink and it, the top has flowers on it and i thought it was super cute and the best thing about this bag guys is that i got it at the 99 cent store and it was about it's funny they say it's 99 cents and it was five dollars but it's still a really great deal and it has so much room inside oh and there's a pair of socks in there <laughs> But it has so much room inside and I thought it would just be the perfect bag to take. Like I said, I'm not taking too much. I don't think I am at least. Um, so this was the perfect bag. And first things first, I am taking some socks. I love wearing socks, you guys. I can't like live without them. I wear socks when I go to sleep. I wear socks around the house. Like I just love socks. Um, so I am taking three regular just basic socks and then I am taking these nice fluffy ones they're pretty soft and comfortable and then the last ones that I'm taking are these like pink ones and they have the little rubber things at the bottom so if I wanted to I could just walk around in these next I am taking these maternity bras which I got a really great deal on at Ross I believe I paid about six dollars for each or something like that so this is what it looks like I got a pink one which I thought was super cute and then I picked up a black one right here and they're just the ones that you unclip from the front so I'm taking this and I also picked up these nursing like tank tops that way it's just easy to put, uh, take off the strap and then you can just nurse from there so I picked up a white one and I picked up this black and white one with stripes on it I thought it was super cute I just got some basic ones and again I got these at Ross for super super cheap um, so if you guys didn't know and if you guys need maternity clothes definitely go check out Ross before you go to like any expensive store they have so many maternity clothes for a really great deal and that's where I went and I picked up these items and guys it was seriously super affordable I didn't splurge too much money and yeah you find some great stuff next I found these underwear these were from Burlington and I, I got four pairs for I believe ten bucks got a size medium just because I do want to feel pretty comfortable after giving birth I don't want anything too tight so I got a nude one um, these came uh, all together by the way this gray one this like mauve color and just a simple black one Again, this was a steal. Next, I am taking some PJs. Um, I don't own like an actual set of PJs. Usually what I wear to bed is just like a long t-shirt or just some shorts or tank top. But I am going to be taking these uh, PJs right here. They're super comfortable, they're soft, and I'm probably just gonna pair it with this shirt right here it's just a pink shirt um i wish i did have something that was more v-neck that way i could just um if i needed to nurse or anything like that but i don't know i'm just gonna take these right here these will be my pjs and i am taking a couple of regular outfits 
in, like one for going home when I am leaving the hospital and the other one like when my family comes over. Um, so I have these sweats right here. They're super cute. They're these leopard sweats. I believe I got these at Ross as well. I've had these though. And I am pairing this with shirt right here it's just a plain black shirt i got this at ross as well guys basically everything that i got is from ross i love ross they have such great deals and you just can't beat the price the next outfit i'm taking is these leggings they're just plain black leggings super stretchy super comfortable and i am pairing that with this tannish shirt again from ross it's super big and comfy. I don't want anything too tight on me. I just want to feel super comfortable. So I am taking that. Um, next, I am taking some washcloths. It can be for, I don't know, when I wash my face or uh, when, when I take a shower. And of course, I am taking a towel. And I... I'm taking these slippers that I've had for a while. I did wash them, I haven't worn them since. As you can see, it has like a nail polish stain right there, but I did wash them. I am gonna take these. And I'm also taking these ones, I'm wearing them right now. Um, these ones right here. I just picked these up yesterday from Burlington. I think they were like 17 bucks. Um, they're from Man and Girl, and they're super cute, super comfortable. So I'm taking these. And I am also going to be taking this baby blanket for my baby girl in case I need it. It's just a polka dotter blanket and I think it's super cute. And in this bag right here is where I have all of my toiletries. It's just super cute. Love the material, love the print. And and here I just have my deodorant, toothbrush of course, toothpaste, and a hairbrush. I have some nursing pads just in case I need them. Um, I'm not sure that I will, but I'm just taking them just in case. And I also heard that the hospital pr pretty much provides all of your necessities when going home. Um, but I did want to take some of my own, like these pads right here. I heard really great reviews about these. Um, they're the, I forget what they're called, I put the title right below, right here, um, but I've heard really great reviews about these. They're the ultra thin, but I guess they observe a lot, and I heard that you bleed a lot um, after giving birth, so I picked these up. I have a whole pack, but I just, I'm just taking a few. I'm taking some lip balm because I heard your lips get super, super dry, so definitely taking that. Taking a couple scrunchies. I don't know where the other one is, but I have another one in here. And taking some body wash. I don't think I'll be needed this, but some sensitive soap. And I'm actually taking my dry shampoo instead of my actual shampoo, just because it's easier to work with. And that way, if I do need to shower or anything like that, I can just do my body really fast. So I thought this would be pretty convenient. Some lotion. And I'm also taking these massage lotion for stretch marks i've actually been using i have the big bottles in my bathroom but i've been using these throughout my entire pregnancy and this works amazing so i'm taking a few of these my um doctor actually gave me these and a few other stuff in here so i thought i'd just take these with me and i'm also taking oh here's my other hair tie and i'm also taking some um nipple cream which again, I don't think I'll be needing these for the first few days, but I'm not quite sure, so I'm just taking them in case. So of course, I'm going to be taking my charger because I am going to be recording my entire labor and delivery as well as my headphones, and I am taking my tripod as well. Um, however, I am using that right now to film. And also a trash bag just in case I have any dirty clothes and I don't wanna mix it with my clean clothes, so I am taking this as well. I'm also taking my pillow, of course, and a nice fluffy blanket. I love this blanket. And lastly, I'm going to be taking this yellow envelope, which basically has all of the important papers that I will be needing for the hospital. Yeah, so um, 
Let me see if I'm missing anything else. I might be taking some makeup and my skincare products, um, but again, I use that on an everyday basis, so I don't have that packed right now. But that's basically everything I'm taking. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm sorry I'm out of breath. Also, I just want to say very quickly, I'm sorry if this video was kind of all over the place or if I was talking too fast or I just sounded a little bit robotic. I'm trying to get this video done before my husband and people come over. I still don't feel quite comfortable filming in front of people, but I really wanted to get this video out there for you guys. So again, I'm sorry if I sound a little weird or anything like that. That completes everything that's in my hospital bag. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.